evening, we have an update to breaking news tonight. Three people are dead after a fiery crash that forced a highway to close for several hours in Wasatch County. Yeah, the crash happened on US 189 near the Heber Valley Airport. That highway just starting to reopen right now. New special Sandra Adams live on scene for us with the very latest. This video is incredible. What do you know, Andrew? Very, very jarring, Mike. A uh, very troubling crash here uh, that took three lives tonight. Uh, we did just get word just here within the last couple of minutes. In fact, we had to move our live position just before air because we understand this road is just about to reopen, ideally here in the next couple of minutes, the next few minutes. Uh, but it has been a challenging investigation for crews. They've had to investigate, uh, identify the deceased through means like uh, just finding VIN numbers through this fiery crash that uh, has uh, really vexed a lot of people here tonight along a scenic route. It was far from the scene anyone was expecting. We've got a lot of evidence to, to pick up here. Green pasture was turned to scorched earth oh my goodness. in a giant plume of fire and smoke. And the occupants of both those vehicles uh, perished. Utah Highway Patrol says it all started with a simple crash that spiraled out of control. The Jeep slowed down significantly. The red truck behind the Jeep wasn't able to slow down as quickly and uh, hit, hit rear-ended the, the Jeep, causing the Jeep to start on fire. The Jeep then careened into oncoming traffic. Where a Chevy Trailblazer uh, T-boned that Jeep that was um, engulfed in flames, engulfing the Trailblazer also in flames. This was the aftermath. Three lives lost and troopers left behind to make sense of the gruesome wreckage. You know, one like this is, is exactly why we do our jobs to try to avoid it. It was a sight nobody here will soon forget. We try to educate the public as uh, Utah Highway Patrol, the, the dangers of, of following distance, the, the dangers of slowing down in, in active travel lanes. And uh, unfortunately, today, the culmination of, of uh, those two things caused uh, three people to lose their lives. Of course, one of the lingering questions here is how that Jeep caught fire even before it was T-boned, just after the initial impact. Uh, crews are trying to figure that one out. They say it is possible. It was just the angle of the crash, but they don't know. It's something that they want answered. Meanwhile, again, just barely starting to get ready to open this road. In fact, I think we we're told just a second ago that they've been given the all clear. If you look over here, you can see uh, uh, the crews starting to remove the cone. So again, US 189 in the area, just starting to open here within the last little bit. But uh, we'll uh, toss it back to the studio for now. Yeah, simply an awful chain of events there. Andrew Adams live for us this evening. Andrew, thank you.